Okay, so in this short video, I just want to go over how we go about setting up for different devices. And again, uh, this will change. You know, as different devices come out, we might find that it will change. All right, so we could say that um, the, the standard screen size for our monitors, I would say that our best bet is we want to work more um, image size 1600 by 1200. All right, so how would I set that up? Well, I'd come on in, I'd say File, New. Um, and what I could really do is come on in and say web, okay? And I could say, you know, this is monitor. Now you're going to find as you click down here that there's a lot of these already built in. So you could come in and use 1600 by 1200. That's great. Um, I'll make this one monitor too. And what you're going to find is the color mode will automatically go to RGB. We want to make sure that it's an RGB. CMYK is for print. And we're going to keep the resolution at 72. This is pretty standard um, that we keep our resolution at 72 in the web. As I said in an earlier video, that this is probably an area that's changing. Let's look at retina display. Uh, retina display is putting things at even higher than 300 pixels per inch. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We'll hit OK. And there we have it, monitor one, monitor two. Let's take a look at um, some of the different devices, other devices that we'll look at. And I've set up here for an iPhone and an iPad. But what we need to look at as we set up these little workspaces is what is the resolution of that device. And that's something, again, as new devices come out, they have better cameras with more megapixels. And one of the big things is the resolution improves. Now, if we come on in, we go into Photoshop, we say File, New. We can find, instead of going to web, let's go to Mobile and Devices. And again, we're going to set up RGB, background white. And let's just look at some of these standards because, unfortunately, Photoshop, it would be great if Photoshop said, this one is for the iPad 2, the iPad Retina Display. But it doesn't do that. But So we need to do a little research on our own. And what I can tell you is that uh, if we look at the iPhone, the iPhone is a very popular device. The iPhone um, 4 and 4S is actually 640 by 940. I'm sorry, 640 by 960. So I could come right here. I could say 640 by 960. And I, what I could do, actually, if I want to, I could say Save Preset. And I could actually give the name iPhone 4. We'll just put 4S. The 4 and the 4S are the same, but... We'll say OK, and I could say iPhone for, I'll say iPhone. All right, now again, when I go to create it again, now if I want to work again, I can come to File, New, and I'll find as I go into my mobiles and devices that the iPhone is there, and I created this. I created all of these different ones. But so that's just how you would set it up if you wanted to. Let me just give you some other numbers for other things. So there's the iPhone. Here's the iPad, the iPad with Retina Display. If you wanted to set that one up, I'll give you the image size. The image size of that is 768 by 1024. And we have some other um, ones. And if we come on in, File, New, uh, Image Size, Mobile and Devices, as we look at these different numbers, uh, Android Galaxy Tablet is 480 by 480. Do we see that there? Okay, um, I don't necessarily see that one there. The Kindle Fire is 600 by 1024. We can see that right there. Um, and again, so this is something that as a, someone designing websites, building websites that we want to be aware of and keep our eyes on as we're designing for these devices. All right, so what I've done is I've set up, uh, I have my, 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 my um, monitor my iPhone, and my iPad. So now, if I was working on this website, I could take these graphics and drop them in and rescale as we work.